Hi, and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. On this channel, we take a look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items I think the darting community should know about. And today, we're going to be talking about the stance. All right, before we get into that, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell, and you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. All right, let's get into the stance now. All right, so today we're talking about the stance, and I want to just start off with the most important thing about a stance is having a comfortable stance, one that you feel comfortable with when you come up to the Aki, especially under a pressure situation, something that you're not thinking about. Um, with that said, practicing your stance and finding a stance that's comfortable is extremely important, especially if you're new to darts. Um, finding something where you feel centered, you have good center gravity, you feel strong at the base, and you're comfortable with it is extremely important. So I'm going to show you three of the most common stances today, and we're going to talk a little bit about each one. So again, having a good center of gravity, a good having your feet shoulder width apart is extremely important. And I want to apologize today for not wearing shoes, but I did that on purpose so I can show you kind of some of the differences of what your feet are doing when they're in your shoes. All right, so one of the most common stances is the one I'm currently in where I'm parallel to the board. Now, I happen to be right-handed. I'm left-eye dominant, which really screws my throw up, but that's a whole other video there. But I'm right-handed, left-eye dominant, so I stand so that I'm parallel with my right arm closest to the board. If you were left-handed and hopefully left-eye dominant, you're going to stand like this. Totally makes sense. Same thing in baseball or golf or pretty much any um, sport where you're swinging something. So in regards to this, again, center of gravity is key. It's important. Here, I'm going to come up to the hockey. I'm going to put my foot at the hockey line. Now keep in mind when you're talking about a professional darts player, PDC, CDC, um, other professional darts leagues, they've got a wood hockey there that they're able to put their foot against and lean into and help that with their center of gravity. Um, typically when you're playing league or in a number of tournaments, you've got a tape hockey there. So it's just basically either a piece of tape or it's an hockey that's laid down there and there's nothing for you to lean against. So that's going to change slightly with your center of gravity and how the weight is put on your ankle, your knee, and your back foot. So in this case, you're going to come stand up here and you're going to lean in. And if you've ever watched MVG, he's got an incredible lean. Like he leans halfway across that eight feet. I think he's almost touching the board if you watch him. And so you're going to kick this back foot out, which is my left foot. And here again is a reason I didn't wear shoes is you're going to see that toe. I'm going to put pressure on that toe and that's going to kind of help hold me. It's going to center me. And that also can be a problem because if I wiggle that, it wiggles my entire body. So I really need to feel comfortable with that because that's a balance point. It's almost like a rudder here. So I tend to kick mine back a little. I have a slice in my throw because I am left eye dominant. If you've ever watched the power uh, Phil Taylor, he's left eye dominant. He'll actually put his dart up to his left eye and throw. Um, I happen to really like um, this flying Scotsman himself. Um, and I try and emulate his throw, but he's right eye dominant. I'm not. So that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's what I do anyway. So again, I'm here. I've got this foot back. I'm going to lean in. Okay, so my center of gravity is right here. I'm holding that in. I'm using my abs. So ab workouts are important. And I'm going to throw. Now my throw is more of a punch throw. It's kind of, you know, it's not such an arc. I'm just tossing that thing out there. And that's because I've got this lean. I've got this line here. And I'm able to do that. Now if I were to stand upright and straight, which is a really nice centered gravity piece and like I'm rooted to the ground, my throw unfortunately can't be punched because it's going to drop. That dart's going to drop gravity. So I've got to release that dart and arc it. That's why this really isn't so great with darts. Now someone's going to come along and figure this out and they're going to have a really solid stance 
and figure that arc out. The problem is you're using that entire board and arcing for a double three, <laughs> it's not gonna work out so well. At least I haven't seen it work out. I've never seen anybody really establish this as a good throw uh, that does any well. So that's one throw. Our next throw, which is another very common throw, is this quarter turn. And this is what I like to do. Um, and it's where I'll come up and I'll kind of, I'll touch if there's a tape hockey there, or like here, or if there's an actual wood hockey. And I kind of just to get my touch there. And then I'll place my foot. And again, I'm shoulder width apart. And I'm going to give a little bit of a lean. And I'm going to put this foot back. And I'll tilt it a little bit back. And so I'm still giving it a throw, a, kind of a push on that dart. I'm not arcing it as much. But I'm, you know, it's not so much this here as much as I can do that, and I can drop for the double 19, double three. I can let go up here for the double 20. So this is this is a very common stance. You'll see a lot of darts players using this particular stance. The next really common one that I see is where someone will come up and they'll put their foot, and it's really kind of just aiming wherever they're going. So if they're going to try and shoot for like a double 10, they'll step over here and do that, triple 20, I'm going for my double 16s. So you'll see them move around the board a lot more. Uh, MVG, when he's in here, he's really got good range of that whole board with this particular stance. Um, I feel with this stance, I've got a really good range. When I'm going for like, I say a double 18, um, double 13 or something, I'll step over a little bit further. Uh, just tends to work for me. Again, this is part of learning and understanding a stance. But again, let's come in here. I'm going to do this. A lot of times I see people literally kind of make this L shape with their feet. And there's not as much a lean. And they're kind of lobbing the dart, more to say. Oh, so you're going to kind of lob it there to get it there. All right, so there's three really common stances that you'll see. I recommend that you watch some pro stances. Go ahead and watch the pros and look at their feet. See how they're placing their feet against the hockey. Remember, they're, they're going up against a piece of wood, so it does change a little bit of the center of gravity and where they're able to put a certain amount of weight. But I recommend that you watch that. Try out some different styles of stances, especially if you're new to darts. Get used to something that's really comfortable and just play with them. All right, thanks for watching this episode of Atomic Darts. Hopefully it's been helpful, learning a little bit more about the three most common stances that are out there. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again.